This is a badge that perhaps is not that well known in South Africa, but it has been around for a couple of years. JMC, in full, the Jiangling Motor Corporation from China. And this is their single cab workhorse ba basic bucky known as the boarding. And if you take a look over here, it is specifically the EV4, the Euro 4 emission standard compliant version. So it is the latest version of this bucky in diesel only puts out 88 kilowatts, 245 newton meters of torque from a very lazy, low stressed 2.8 liter four cylinder diesel engine. So it certainly does fill the workhorse role and you can see it fills it pretty well. It's got a nice long load bay, big step down at the bottom over there for you to use if you want to use to get up and into the buck, rubberized on this particular version as well. And then something over here which tells me that this is the luxury version and has optional ABS braking as well. As single cam buckies go, well I'd say it's fairly neat. This one does even have mag wheels on it and a cab protector over there as well. So it's got all the basics that you would want on a workhorse bucky and I think that's what's important to look at right now. Moving to the interior of the JMC boarding, you'll see there are two bucket seats. So it's not the old bench seat version. Two bucket seats with a imitation leather upholstery, which is good and hard wearing and pretty practical and useful for a bucky like that. Headrests are standard, of course. And coming in over here now, I mentioned the ABS brakes, but no airbags on this workhorse version, something to simply take into account and note. Power steering is standard. And you'll see five-speed manual gearbox center console with lots of storage slots as well, which is very useful. Armrest over here for the driver. Although I must admit that with the driver's seat set for myself, I did occasionally find that my elbow was knocking into this center console armrest when I was shifting into second or fourth gear. So again, something just to take into account. Wouldn't be an issue with a taller driver with the seat set further back, but certainly did make a difference to me. From a luxury point of view, air conditioning is standard, works very well, is very effective, and there is a radio CD player as well for the driver over there, or for whoever is being transported along in the vehicle. Instrumentation is very basic, but nothing wrong with basic instrumentation, and you can see over here, I've done about 290 kilometers since I've been testing the vehicle, and the fuel gauge is still reading about half. Interesting, it's only a 53 liter tank, on a vehicle like this, I would have possibly thought you'd have a larger tank on a vehicle of this type. Coming to the driver's door over here, you do have electric windows for both driver and passenger. You have a locking mechanism over here for the doors, and you can also lock out the passenger window if you really want to. Now actually behind the wheel, and there's something I have to point out about the JMC boarding, and that is if you're listening now, you'll hear to that roar of the diesel engine and quite honestly this has to be about the noisiest vehicle I have tested in a long long time and I know I'm used to cars not buckies but I think I would find this a tiny bit tiresome on the long road where you do have this diesel clatter shall we term it being a slightly older fashioned older style engine in the vehicle so something one must take into account I actually had a long chat to an owner who owns one of these vehicles, who said to me, it is a feature of this engine, being that it's not a direct rail diesel, but an older type, and that is the noise. He said, you get used to it, but the other thing he mentioned to me is that, put a load of a ton, or close to a ton, which this vehicle is capable of in the back, and he says it certainly hunkers down and holds very nicely and handles the load very, very well. Unfortunately, I don't have the facilities to test load capability, same as I can't test fuel economy on vehicles with any accuracy, further than having said 290 kilometers and still approximately half a tank left. So what will a JMC boarding cost you? That is the big question, because in this end of the market, it's all about money, it's all about price, and it's all about what the investment is going to set you back for a workhorse bucky, and I stress the word workhorse bucky. Well, in luxury version with ABS brakes, you're looking at in the approximately 195,000 Rand right now. South African market, that's certainly a pretty good price, and there are not too many competitors around at this kind of money. So you'd be looking at basically either the JMC uh, boarding as I'm driving here 
or GWM do have their Steed 5 workhorse as well. And I think that's pretty much that segment of the market covered. So if you're looking for a really basic, with a couple of extra items like the ABS brakes on this one, but a workhorse vehicle, this certainly bears looking at and taking a look. You want one? You certainly need to check it out. For Matter Matters, I'm Alan R and I'll see you next time.